Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare, sometimes self-care, and today we're talking mucin. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, snail mucin has been popular in K-beauty for well over a decade, and it has so many benefits for the skin, and that's why it has that enduring popularity. However, I totally get that snail mucin is not for everyone, whether you are vegan or just the idea of snail on your face is kind of an ick factor. You don't have to feel FOMO because there is a totally plant-based alternative to snail mucin, which is phytomucin, and that's what we're talking about today. Now, I wanna let you know that today's video is sponsored by Isentree. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about their yam root vegan milk line, which does contain the beautiful ingredient phytomucin. So if you're so ready to learn some plant-based alternatives to snail, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. Now, mucin can be derived from a lot of different places, snail being the most popular one, but there's actually a lot of plant-based sources of mucin, including yam, okra, seaweed, and even aloe vera. And these ingredients are known to be rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants for the skin, and they play a really great role in helping to revive and rejuvenate the skin and give it that really beautiful, healthy glow. Now, when it comes to mucin in skincare, there's three benefits that you can expect. Number one, hydration. This is a a really great ingredient no matter the source it's derived from a great ingredient to bring a lot of hydration to really plump up the skin that is actually one of the main benefits that snail is really well known for that bouncy plump feeling on your skin well that's mucin it doesn't have to be from snail but just mucin itself really deeply hydrates the skin the second benefit is it's a great anti-inflammation ingredient it has a really beautiful soothing quality to it and the third benefit you can expect is increased elasticity in the skin. What's really cool about mucin is it actually helps to stimulate the skin's natural production of collagen and elastin. That's why, you know, you always hear snail being touted for its well-aging benefits, its ability to regenerate and heal the skin, and its ability to really help make your skin look more youthful. And that's because mucin helps with the production of those essential collagen and elastin proteins. So now let's talk about the Isentree Yam Root Vegan Milk line. This is such a cool release from Isentree because they're actually marrying the beautiful benefits of phytomucin, which in this line is coming from wild yam, and they're marrying it with their vegan milk complex. So it is five different milks um, coming from plant-based sources that are meant to moisturize the skin without overwhelming it or making it really greasy. They've uh, really created this beautiful combination between both hydration and moisture and really good equal amounts that is really meant to balance out the skin skin, really address the dry areas on the skin, and it is formulated with sensitive folks in mind. It's really meant to help with any irritation or itchiness on the skin to calm and soothe the skin, and of course with a good amount of phytomucin to really plump up and hydrate the skin too. This is the Isentree Yam Root Vegan Milk Cleanser, and this is a beautiful, rich, moisture milk cleanser. It is really, really nourishing for the skin, and I have to show you the this cleanser's consistency because it is, like I said, it's a really rich, beautiful milk cleanser. Look at that, yes! I love this texture, true, true, true milk. And you can actually apply this to your dry skin, which is what I'm gonna do now, and kind of almost use it like a cream mask. And this is actually an effective makeup remover too. You do want to use a separate um, remover, makeup remover for your eye makeup and your lips. It's not super effective at that, but this is great for breaking down base makeup. And it is just so milky. It is just so creamy. It's just enveloping my skin, but it doesn't have that really thick, sometimes like almost milk cleansers have like a waxy sort of feel, especially after you wash them off. This doesn't have it. It is so silky, it is so beautiful, and I just, uh, you know I'm all about textures, and I really, really enjoy this one. So my skin feels really clean. It feels really refreshed, but it feels beautifully moisturized. 
It's not a filmy moisturization at all. My skin just feels like, it actually feels like a, a nice gentle layer of skincare. And I say that in the context of having dehydrated skin. So usually after I've washed my face and have no skincare on whatsoever, I'm running to put my toner on. But I'm actually feeling very comfortable right now without any skincare on whatsoever because this is really helping to um, fortify my skin barrier in a way, really help my skin hold on to that moisture and the hydration from the phytomucin. But another trick that I want to show you with this cleanser actually helps to improve its abilities to really like refresh and clean the pores. So you can use your yam cleanser and mix it in with some clay mask. Now this is a really great strategy because I love the refining and cleaning properties, you know, of a clay mask. Like my skin just always looks a little bit um, brighter. It always just looks a little bit healthier. It really helps with all the blackheads I get around my nose, but they can be incredibly drying to my skin. And so I tend to skip out on them just from that effect alone, but I love the benefits. So this is a gentler alternative. Take a pump, maybe two, I love that little tail on this milk cleanser um, of the yam root cleanser. And then I'm going to use, this is also from Isn't True. This is the Real Mugwort Clay Mask, which I am, you know, for gentle clay masks, this is a very gentle, uh, one of my favorites. And just put like a good portion. So I would say like maybe about two parts of cleanser to one part of clay, but you can always do the mixture that you like. Mix it all together. I'm trying not to spill it. Foamy. Um, clay texture. Do you see that? How it just like whips up the, the clay in the mask. And now it spreads like a dream. You know those really dry clay masks where you're like really struggling to spread it? This just like glides and like coats my skin beautifully. And so much like how I use the cleanser to begin with, you know, massage this into your skin. It creates a much uh, easier to work with texture with the clay so you can really rub it in and this particular clay mask also has little bits of a uh, mugwort in it which offer just the tiniest bit super super gentle you know I'm all about sensitive skincare just the tiniest bit of physical exfoliation which is also kind of nice you can actually leave this onto your skin for like a couple of minutes I wouldn't go past five minutes on this one um, but just leaving it on a little bit to let the clay kind of draw out the impurities just a little bit without drawing the moisture out of your skin I'm back I washed the clay and milk mixture off of my face and my skin feels really like you know that deep clean feeling that you can get with cleanser sometimes not a stripped feeling but just like a deep down clean i feel like adding the clay mask in gave me that deep down clean that my skin is craving but this is something i never say after washing off a clay mask my skin feels really moisturized um, and actually a little bit plump just from washing my face this is the yam root vegan milk cream from isentree and this is a really great way to top off your skincare routine especially if you are focusing on your barrier keeping it really strong and healthy i mean first and foremost we do have five different types of ceramides in here and you know i love a moisturizer with ceramides in it it really is the easiest way to keep your barrier strong so we have five different ones in here plus cholesterol and fatty acids you know I'm always talking about that and another one of my favorite barrier strengthening ingredients phytosphingosine such an amazing ingredient to keep your skin strong so right there the base of this moisturizer is really barrier focused but then we have 57% of yam root extract which is the phytomucin component because the yam root vegan milk line is really focused on bringing moisture into the skin that's really what you're getting from this texture and I have to say this texture really surprised me it wasn't at all what I was thinking it was going to be so let me show you because we get this really nice um, kind of looser cream type of texture it almost looks like it's gonna be like a gel cream type of consistency and once you kind of work it into your skin you're gonna see there's a, a silkiness to it a really nice kind of light richness to this cream I, I don't know if I go completely buttery but we're kind of getting into that territory without having it be a really stiff or thick cream and you can see a little bit of that hydration component you can see a little shininess that's actually just a tiny bit of oil-based moisture in here once you get this into your skin you're going 
going to start to feel it absorbing in. You're gonna feel a refreshing, cooling, hydrating sensation deep in the skin. But once it starts to absorb and dry, it starts to create an occlusive layer on the top of your skin that feels a little closer to a balm type of texture. It's really interesting how it transforms under your fingers into an occlusive balm texture with this light, rich slip to it. There's a good moisturization element here as it's absorbing. It's not full on oil, it's not full on rich, but it's just enough to really moisturize the skin without overwhelming it, but also delivering the hydration, that protective barrier on top of your skin that's going to stop the transepidermal water loss. Amazing. And while you're going to get a little bit, do you see it just the tiniest bit of dew? It's not an overly shiny cream or an overly wet looking cream on the skin. So I'll show you when I get it on my face what it looks like, but I could not believe how transformative that texture was. What looks like a gel cream texture really actually becomes a nice cream for fighting dehydration, a nice cream for imparting a good amount of moisture without a lot of greasiness to the skin. That's really the wonders of phytomucin. I've been exploring this ingredient now for a while, actually, you know, starting with a couple of products from last year that really got me onto this ingredient. It really is a nice vegan alternative to snail. It gives so many similar benefits. It's amazing for hydrating the skin, strengthening the barrier. So you see, I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of dew, but it's not overly wet. It's not like shiny or oily or greasy at the top, but my skincare feels sealed in. You know what I mean? It feels occlusive. It feels locked down, but not overwhelmed. My skin is still able to breathe. And that is a really unique feature of this texture. There's not anything else out there quite like it that I've at least encountered. Really fantastic, hydrating, plumping, occlusive, and uh, just the right thing for my skin. This is the J. Jun Phytomucin Jelly Mask, and this is a gel textured wash off mask that is perfect if your skin needs to be calmed down, soothed, refreshed, cooled. This is the perfect type of mask for that. I'm thinking about, you know, working in the yard, it's getting really warm now, and my skin can kind of get overheated, sort of stressed out from the sun exposure. This is what I'm reaching for because it's got this really lovely hydrating plumping gel texture that really just calms your skin down and refreshes it. Phytomucins that come from okra have a special property that's really similar to hyaluronic acid. It's so good at really hydrating the skin, really plumping it up, um, and giving it a lot of that like bouncy type of texture, holding a lot of hydration in. So let me show you the texture because it is this really lovely gel, like a pure gel texture and it's got some nice body and thickness to it, so that makes it really great for clinging to the skin. And this is a wash off mask, so after you wash your face, apply a really nice generous layer to your skin for about five, 10 minutes, and you're gonna get this really fantastic cooling, like even on contact like this feels, it's a little bit warm today, so this feels really refreshing on my skin. So really beautiful gel texture, it's clinging to my skin really nicely, it doesn't drip or travel around. It feels really nice on my skin and you only need five to 10 minutes to really refresh your skin with this mask. All right, I'm back and my skin feels really refreshed and very hydrated. This is such a treat for a summer day, but the properties of phytomucin are, we know, so good for the skin, so refreshing and hydrating and skin strengthening. And honestly, this is a really nice hydrating alternative to a sheet mask, especially if you are looking to cut down on some of the waste that your skincare routine is producing. A nice wash off mask like this is a great alternative to individual sheet masks. This is the V Green Mucin Essence Toner, and this has phytomucin derived from wild yam. There's 68% of phytomucin in here, along with 3% of panthenol, which is a really great uh, complement to phytomucin because it really boosts up the hydration. Panthenol is a very deeply hydrating ingredient, but it also is a barrier supportive ingredient too. It helps your skin hold on to hydration by fortifying your skin's barrier, which is similar to phytomucin. It's a great skin barrier help. So if you're familiar with the texture of snail-based products, this toner has that similar texture to it without any snail in it whatsoever because it's got that watery, but you can tell there's some drip, there's some body to it. And then when you get it onto your skin, wow. Talk 
about hydration bomb. So I first started using this toner last year in the summer and it became like a mainstay for me in hot weather immediately. My skin absolutely drinks this toner up and it's one of those toners you're thinking it's not gonna do much. Like it, it looks really watery and unassuming, but there's a little edge to this toner that really, really gets in deep to the skin. So good for dehydration, right? But then that little edge of that body really creates bounce in your skin. So I'm gonna go in for my second layer and I just wanna show you like the body of this toner. Look at this, so good, right? It's super watery, you can tell, but that little bit of that tail you see, that's the body, that's the plumping factor of this. And you know it's a good hydrating toner if I only have to use two layers and my skin feels satisfied. Now if your skin is really dry and you want a toner that offers some moisture and not just hydration, I quickly wanna mention the Isntree Yam Root Vegan Milk Toner. So part of the same line, this toner offers a beautiful amount of moisture from that vegan milk complex without a greasy, super heavy feeling on the skin, especially for one of your first layers of skincare. You don't wanna go in too thick too quickly. This is a perfect type of moisturizing toner for that. And I actually did name this as an April favorite because it really helped my skin transition from winterized dryness into slightly more combination spring and summer mode. Let me show you this beautiful milky texture. Look at that. But did you see how it ran off of my hand? It's still really, really runny and watery. Let me give you a little bit of an idea here. You see that? It's just dripping off my hand. So watery, but we see the milkiness in here. We see a little bit of that emolliency, but it's still light. So this feels really great on the skin. And unlike some other you know, moisturizing toners, this actually, in my opinion, is layerable because it doesn't have a super thick feel to it. Incredibly breathable, but really comforting and really hugs moisture into the skin. Also from V Green, this is their Nature Mucin Serum. And this is such a beautiful combination that's all about really deeply hydrating your skin, plumping it up, but also strengthening your skin's moisture barrier in this beautiful gel texture that I honestly will think will work for every skin type. So let me show you this beautiful gel texture. So a little bit more body, a little thicker than the toner, but you can see this is gonna be a really hydrating gel texture that just bursts into hydration on the skin. So, so beautiful. Oh, my skin is just feeling that watery goodness right now. It's, I think I already told you that it's like kind of hot today. It's like one of the first really warm days that we've had in a while. And my skin is feeling a little bit thirsty from the heat. And this is doing the trick. It's a cool glass of water on a hot day. So I really saturated my skin with this serum and it just absorbed right in so quickly and it doesn't feel sticky at all. It doesn't feel thick on my skin, but I'm getting that bounce. I'm getting that plump. I'm getting so much hydration from this serum. Whether you're plant-based, vegan, or just looking to try a new skincare ingredient, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video all about phytomucin. So thank you so much to Isntree for sponsoring today's video. All the products that I mentioned in today's video are linked in the description box. So definitely check that out if you want to explore a little bit more, maybe add something to your cart or to your wish list. And I am curious to know have you tried this ingredient what do you think let me know in the comments now before you go if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet but you actually made it this far please i would be so honored before you go just hit subscribe i'd be so honored to have you come join our community we love korean skincare we love sensitive skincare and definitely consider turning on notifications so you're never out of the loop when i post the new videos or shorts I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe, and I love you so much. Thanks for being here with me today, and I'll talk to you soon.